What's going on, crime fighters? It's the night, and it's time to unite for Schmoes No, the best of June. As you all know, or well, those of you who don't, you better know, after watching this video and going to subscribe, going to subscribe, huh? wasn't even proper English, going to subscribe to the Schmoes No. They do, every month they do a best of, which features every movie that came out within that certain month. They critique and they rate what's the best to what's the worst. So, let's get our paper shaking with this list. Let's see what they got. It is the best and the worst of June. It's a little later, but who cares? We're still doing it. That's right, and there were a lot of good movies in June. It's actually hard for us to pick our favorite, which is always good when you're talking about a summertime month. We love seeing the big blockbusters, and sometimes those little indie films to catch you by surprise. Yeah, so here we go. This is the best, these are the yeah, worst Jurassic of June. World. Uh, Mark, what do you got? Uh, Jurassic yeah. World, bar none. That's it, huh? Uh, yeah, it was because it, th there's another great movie that I think you're going to take for your favorite. Uh, and look, I didn't have a bad June at all. We actually, we were walking to turn Terminator Genesis, right? Yes. And we were talking about how, you know what? Which is a July movie. This, this month is really good. We haven't had a bad month that we saw Terminator Genesis, and bit. it turned all of July upside down. That's a later bit. For June, there's a lot of fun at the box office, but come on, man. Jurassic World is just one of the most fun theater experiences you'll have all year, and I actually like the film, too. Okay. I went back and saw it a second and a third time. Um, there, are some, there are some good ones for June. Uh, you got Spy, which I thought was May. Oh, wow, interesting. Um, and then, uh, let's see. No, Spy was June 5th, buddy. Okay. I didn't see Insidious 3, so I can't judge on that one. I really, I almost went with Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl, so that was a really good one. Yeah. Uh, was Dope good one. was another one that I almost went with. You base with. your life on Entourage. Uh, no, I don't. Um, but I would go ahead and say that Inside Out, for me, was just, yeah. it, 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 totally. and it's also a little more special now, too, because it's the, it's the second movie my daughter really loves and quotes and everything, too. And, right, right. And so it's got, a, it's got a place near and dear to my heart. Daughter's so. seen the whole thing now. She has. Yeah, she walked out of it the first thing, she was scared, but then she said she loved it so much she had to go back and watch it so. yeah it's funny for kids and for adults I could definitely argue and I have argued on movie fights that that's the best movie so far of 2015 wow. but come on man I go to the movies to have a ball and I did with Jurassic World really? you know another one that you caught that you reviewed for us by yourself that I caught with the lady a couple weeks later was Dope, dope yeah. and yeah I really did you already say Dope? Well, I, I see did. Dope. Oh, okay thanks for showing I liked it as well good uh, as far as worse, I think we're both going to tie here on our worst, and that's Max, the dog uh, movie. I hate now, doing it to that German I know. shepherd. It's not the dog, though. That's the thing that people should realize, too. It's I not the dog. It's the story of this dog who had PTSD, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That is something that I wanted to see and felt like, oh, man. Not that I wanted to see it, but the fact like, I, I'd be interested in seeing. Engaging dramatic what is story. That, yeah, what was going to happen. And they throw this silly crime ring in there that just turns the whole thing upside down. And he, it was unnecessary. I just wanted to see the story about the dog and the kid. That should have been the whole movie. And they ruined it with this bad acting and bad jokes and this silly, silly subplot. You know what happened? What? They, we got Nicholas Sparks. They yeah, Nicholas did. Sparks. Yes. A dog, and uh, it really disappoints this boy who grew up with a German Shepherd. Oh, look at how cute that dick is. Yeah, oh, yeah. Look at the mark, yeah. Oh, yeah, God. that's that, that dude. That you look. That looks. I mean, that's you. It's definitely you. I, what's another video? <laughs> All right, Schmoville, so you saw a bunch of movies in June. What was your best? What was your worst? Comment. Tell us what you think. And make sure that we're going to have so many Comic-Con videos coming out. It's going to be the list, incredible. Man. There's going to be a lot of panels. Insane. There's going to be a lot of videos on things that we saw there. It'll be a lot of fun. So make sure you update. You check out here at Schmozno.com for updates. As many vids as your little fingers can click. Now, Christian, let's spin it forward to July really quick. Yeah. Uh, prognosticating July. Look, our MA review is going to come out tomorrow. Now, maybe that is one of our favorites of July. Is there anything else on your radar yes. that could come out and knock Ant-Man off the perch if we in fact liked it. Yes. What do you got? Night Falls. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a real movie, but watch our oh, so appearance on movie fights. I got an update. It's now a real movie. <laughs> it wouldn't shock me. <laughs> he really pulled that one off, too. I was like, Night Falls? What the hell is that? Anywho, yeah, Jurassic World for sure. That movie was Fucking amazing. Such a good time. It was awesome. The last 15 minutes, like I said, took me... To, oh, I was in heaven. Um, and that movie has done retarded success, man. Oh, my God. It's the... What? It's the fourth or fifth biggest film of all time right now. 
Yeah, that and Avengers are literally neck and neck right now. Avengers Age of Ultron, too. Um, yeah, that's... I, would, I wouldn't have guessed that at all, but... Hey, people love dinosaurs. But, anywho, guys, go check out the Schmoes. Show them love. Support. Because, like I said, they're, all, they're awesome. They're always putting out great content. And, like I said, I tune in. I'm always watching the live show. I'm always shouting them out and talking about the, talking to them on Twitter. Um, and I'm fighting to get on the show. Fighting. But, oh, another thing. Mr. Ellis. Happy birthday, sir. Or belated. Because I know it's not uh, at this time. But happy belated birthday. If I'm not mistaken, it just passed. The video was utterly hilarious. Uh, where everyone's saying happy birthday to you, so. Here's the Knights. Wishing you a happy birthday. Anywho, guys. Join me on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Like, comment, and share. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, along with the rest of my social media, posted in the description box below. It's the night, and I'll see y'all later.